Yeah, so we're gonna make this as spoiler-free as possible. Mm -hmm. um, this is right, we're already in the land of Mysidia, as you saw in the uh, trailer. And this is actually specifically a town, a little village called Haven. And uh, just to address the uh, Leviathan in the room here, there is a character that's going to be uh, following us around. Her name is Shula, mm -hmm. and uh, she's a very integral part of this, uh, the Rising Tide. Um, now, regarding the Rising Tide itself, uh, this is going to start with the same uh, prerequisites as the Echoes of the Fallen. Um, you don't have to complete Echoes of the Fallen, uh, but it has the same prerequisite. You're going to get an unmarked letter in the hideaway where all your uh, quests kind of show up in your room. And it's basically going to be asking for your support because uh, your Clive by now is an expert on all things icons, right? And so this is why he's here, and this is why he's traveled up to the land of the north in Mesidia. And this is actually going to be after you already get Leviathan's iconic abilities. And we're actually heading over into the Eyrie of Hours, which is uh, going to be the first stage that you're going to uh, fight. So we're going to be sort of fighting with uh, Leviathan's abilities and showcasing that mostly today. Um, and again, making it as spoiler free as possible for the story so that you can sort of discover all this yourself. We did want to give you all a sneak peek at what Leviathan can do. And Joy's going to be controlling Clive here today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Proof. <Yes. laughs> Hands are on the wheel, folks. So uh, let's, let's take a look. We've got some gray widows over here. Maybe we can um, test Leviathan's abilities out here and get things started. Now, this is one of my favorite moves, actually. Just this kind of Gatling gun, it feels like, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll see that a lot of Leviathan's abilities are are long-ranged, mm -hmm. um, but um, one of them kind of like does a, a shotgun effect where it kind of shoots out. So the closer you are, the more attacks connect, and it does more damage. So you'll uh Cryptid Villains is calling out that double water slam move that yeah. just kind of collapsed both of the enemies there. Yeah, and that one's really useful too because it also like brings all the enemies in one place mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. Now, I know we're in this new area called Mysidia. We haven't been able to visit this area in the in the main game. I, I've noticed it's awfully sunny here. Yeah. There, so, there seems to be no blight. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a good point. This DLC does, or uh, Rising Tide does take place right before Origin, mm. where the sky is bleeding. Um, and there is a reason why the sky is blue, and it is explained in the story mm -hmm. itself. But again, I'm going to leave that to you guys to sort of uh, figure out. Okay. No spoilers here, folks, but definitely something to think about. <laughs> As you can see, uh, Curious Joy does not have any timely accessories equipped today. I am sorry, I'm very impressed by that because I, when I played through, I definitely did the Shimley Evasion one. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely made a point. I was like, what are these? <laughs> yes. How's the uh, Leviathan's abilities? They're really cool. I really, uh, well, I'm really bad at aiming. So this one is as cool as it looks. I, I miss all the time, so <laughs> targeting to make be a little trickier. But Crosswell is of course the awesome, and I love I love his this ability here. I just got to remember to time that properly for the infinite gauge, so I don't have to worry about refilling for a while. Also, Clive looks really cool having the serpents on his arm. I know, yeah. you know so what cool. I mean? Yeah. And then the dodge is like a slip and slide, which is nice. I saw a couple of folks in the chat mentioning that they can't wait to take screenshots in this location as well. Yeah, this place is really beautiful. If you are taking any screenshots, definitely uh, tag the official Final Fantasy 16 and Square Enix Twitter accounts. We'd love to see um, your awesome screenshots. Now, the Echoes of the Fallen was the first part of the DLC, which um, was already available. Um, the Rising Tide available tomorrow. That's going to be $19.99 US dollars. I just want to call that out. But if you bought the expansion pass, you are set to go, um, and you'll be able to just jump right in uh, to the game uh, midnight uh, tonight. This is what I will be doing, <laughs> without a doubt. Yesterday, um, we were kind of playing around a little bit, and um, I thought those were rubber crabs. We thought those were <laughs> yeah, rubber crabs, right? Rubber crabs. 
Yes. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yes. It's all good. So yeah, I know um, we we're some some folks in the chat are kind of talking about the timely accessories. Of course, those are definitely still in the DLC, so you can use those if you'd like. Um, but today we are just purely relying on using Leviathan and checking out these new abilities that are available with this DLC. Um, Shaping Chaos is asking um, when you can access this DLC. So as Julian was kind of mentioning earlier, it's going to be before Origin. So uh, once you've unlocked that part of the main story, but you haven't gone to Origin yet, uh, you'll be able to receive the missive uh, over at the hideaway. And there is one quest that you have to uh, complete. It's actually called the Priceless Quest. And mm -hmm. there's a bunch of other quests that kind of are necessary to get to that quest itself. But again, like she said, it is the same as Echoes of the Fallen, so they'll both unlock. Mm -hmm. You don't need to play Echoes of the Fallen uh, to be able to enjoy the Rising Tide, but you should play Echoes of the Fallen because it's really, really fun. <laughs> I uh, thoroughly enjoyed that boss fight, I have to admit. You probably all noticed this, uh, the title gauge that's happening here. Yeah, um, talk it, about that. Yeah, so a lot of, like I said, a lot of his abilities are are long ranged and they're kind of like, like you said, a gun, right? And so they have to be charged. Um, and then periodically, when you hit the cir when you hit the circle button, that gauge right there shows up. And now you don't have to actually get it into that circle, but when you do, uh, so even if you miss it, the title gauge does fill up. But when you actually time it perfectly and get it in that circle, then you have a brief moment of having unlimited um, gauge. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So there's an advantage. So it's not like you have to keep hitting circle and otherwise your abilities don't work, um, you can actually still have it fully charged by missing, but you have an advantage for making it. Yes. Yashan Stone, uh, to clarify, yes, that'll be at 12 a.m. Eastern time uh, here in the United States. So uh, 9 p.m. Pacific time. I know what I'll be doing this evening. <laughs> yeah. I imagine Joy will as well, perhaps. Yes, definitely heading straight home and looking at the clock for sure. <laughs> All right, we've got a temple curl here. Ow. I remember Ow. these being, <laughs> being challenging in the yeah. main game, right? Yeah, these guys have a lot of HP. Um, so definitely going to test your abilities here. I did see a few uh, folks asking about the um, level cap increase. Yes, there is. Uh, for the story, um, that's going to be level 60 now. Um, and then uh, Final Fantasy mode, 110. That's pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy mode is intense. Yeah. Definitely want to get nice and uh, leveled there for those challenges. Um, a question from our folks over on YouTube. Um, how approximately how long is this uh, DLC? How long is it going to take to beat the Rising Tide? Yeah, it really depends if you want to how much you want to complete. Mm. Um, but for me, I would say about five hours. Mm, okay. At least. And that's just for the story portion, I would say, right? Or do you, th you think the whole, even mm. with the Kairos Gate in it? I think with the whole, mm. yeah. A uh, Kairos Gate is a whole other beast, though. Yeah, that yeah. One, sorry. We'll get so we'll get into up. that, yeah. yeah but that's um, <laughs> um, not included in that. Joy, there's a, a very special request in the chat. Uh -oh. um, yes, uh, they're hoping after you absolutely destroy this temple curl. Um, can you pet Torgal after this oh, fight? Oh, Being such a good boy. <laughs> I would never abandon Torgal. Absolutely. Uh, Riki, Joker, Dexter, uh, this DLC takes place uh, before you reach Origin, so it's towards the end of the game. Yeah. Hey, you don't want to get hit by that. No. Yeah, that's <laughs> very okay over here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. You just wanted to make it harder. We're not playing on Final Fantasy mode, but we're playing on Curious Joy mode. Yeah. And it is a challenge. Yeah. I mean, we do have to fight this boss, but yeah, if you do step out of bounds, their health does tend to restore there. <laughs> I definitely did that in the main game, too, several yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. I know there's a lot of, there's definitely a lot of theories about 
uh, what what this means in the DLC, and um, we look forward to you all finding out later tonight. He's trying to trick me to get his health back. I, I see a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, they're like, wait, how did he restart his health? We, and unfortunately, we accidentally zoned out there, which is a, is a thing that can happen for sure. I just think she did that intentionally to up the tape. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys more stuff. Yeah. Out. And Shula fights alongside Ow. Clive and Jill here, which is fun. Almost broken. Yeah, almost. That's the key moment. Yeah, that's when you can get some lethal damage for sure. Yeah. A lot of folks are asking if this will change the ending, but I, all I gotta say to you is please enjoy the game on April 18th and uh, yep. please enjoy it. <laughs> yep. Nice. See, that was that shotgun effect that we were saying. It's like the closer you are, the more damage it does uh, because all the points connect. That's a good damage dealer. Oh, yeah. So you won't miss if you're point blank. I know. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and the dodge really helps in this one. Yeah, I like the little flip that he does there. Uh, Julian, can you remind the chat what was the name of that quest you needed to complete first? Yeah, Priceless. Priceless. Yes, yeah, that's correct. I tiger zone. Priceless. Oh, I 100% agree that this battle scene never gets old. Yeah, music is amazing. It is so good. I'm with you, Gooper2400. We, we have a few more hours to go here uh, to be able to play the rest of the DLC, so definitely something to look forward to this evening. Have to be patient until then. Oh, you got this timing down really well. I know. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh -oh. I'm so bad. You got a spell check. You would have been dead. <laughs> it's the revenge oh, arc. Yeah, no, mer no mercy. <laughs> a lot of folks in the chat are talking about, of course, the music, because the battle song is so fantastic. Um, I'm curious, though, for uh, Joy, was there a song in particular when you were playing through Final Fantasy 16 that was your favorite? Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's the, the song right before you go to Origins. Yeah. That's because it's just, <laughs> it's such an iconic song. Yeah. And it's hard to, like, not get emotional. Oh, my goodness, I almost died. <laughs> nice. We got another staggered in. Finish off the curl here. I'm seeing folks in the chat talk about the Titan song. That's a great one. Oh yeah, Titan was great. I, um, I, my star, I think, is a beautiful song. So that one definitely has a special place in my heart. Um, I also, well, from Echoes of the Fallen, that boss fight song is so good. So folks, Echoes of the Fallen is already available. So if you're hanging out with us and you're like, oh, I want to play Rising Tide, you can later. But if you haven't played Echoes of the Fallen, you can play that now. And then later tonight, you'll be able to enjoy Rising Tide. And we should note that if you do like the music, there are numerous new orchestration roles added oh, into this right. as well. Yeah. Many orchestrion roles yeah. are available. Um, do we know how many? I don't know many. if it's on my head, but many we is all we can say. Yeah, many. we said many during the, our panel at PAX East. Was anyone in the chat uh, able to join us for that? I can't wait. You guys listen to the trailer i really like the music on that as well for the rising tide oh. so that's new and it's really catchy yeah. and i think it really fits the overall theme really well that's absolutely true uh, uh cree 102 it's going to be midnight easter t eastern time i'm very excited there. so that's shula by the way yes, she has pretty eyes yeah she's got very pretty eyes <laughs> yeah. It's so cool how everything looks kind of like frozen in time, maybe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a reason for that as well, which we won't reveal. But. Oh! <laughs> you can see the spell's path from the nave. Keeping everyone on their toes. Is 
Is now, it okay? Jill? Jill? Yeah. <laughs> no, so Jill. What about? <laughs> yeah, I wonder what's on Jill's mind. I mean, we know, I don't know. while Jill's not from it's Mesidia, totally she is from kind of the northern areas, right? So mm -hmm. I wonder how this will tie into her story. Forgive me, but why build the Vare here? Oh, this is a good question, Julian. I don't know if you have the answer. Um, from BKW004, um, can you, while you're playing the Rising Tide, are you able to quick travel back to, like, the main areas in the game and then back to Mysidia, or do you have to kind of do it all in one go? Well, that's a good question. Uh, we did just see the map because we had to go into mm -hmm. uh, Iris, but... That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out tonight. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. That is a good question, oh, though. Yeah, because the fast travel is not available. You're kind of locked into going into this location. Right. I wanted to pause here yeah, because I see someone oh, in oh, the distance. Oh, yeah, this is a big, this is something that I think everybody was looking forward to as yes. well. Yes. Folks, we've arrived to the Master Tonberry. Or these are the regular Tonberry. Oh, these are the regular yeah. ones. Yeah, the Tonberry Creepers. I love their design. Yeah, they're cute. They fit so well mm. with this world. They really do. They, oh, that was that was good. Good move to bring yeah. to bring them all in there. Because there's a few of them, so it's kind of yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah, I have trust issues with Tom Mary, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> I don't know. They're cute but deadly. Well, these ones are creepy, but. Uh, Rothfield, Lucius, Caleb in chat literally just said they're cute but deadly. The same time you said it, Joy. So that's great. <laughs> Oh, there's more of them. Oh gosh, they just don't <laughs> stop coming. Um, for those of you that are curious nice. about the design origin from the Tomberries in this game, uh, definitely check out our VOD of our panel from Pack East. Um, the development team kind of explains the, the design process and actually shows what they were originally going to look like, which was really cool. So uh, definitely worth checking that VOD out. Got to give a plug to our official Sporanix channel. <laughs> Uh, chat is curious if their um, their stabs still deal lethal damage. I don't know if I want to test that. Yeah. <laughs> She's still alive, so... <laughs> yeah, she, she made it through, perhaps. Yeah, the objective is to not find out. Ooh. Yeah, once you find out, <laughs> yeah. then you've lost. Chat's uh, asking about the weapon. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's so, pretty. Yeah, it's definitely pretty. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as with Echoes of the Fallen, there are new additions, and this is one of them, the Tide Strike. Um, again, I, not, I won't tell you how to get it, but mm. it is in the DLC. And it's safe to assume that the new weapons are obviously going to be a bit stronger, right? Than yes. We've seen them. And look. Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. That's yeah, that's not, yeah, that's not a kitchen Ooh. knife here, so... <laughs> <laughs> He's staring at me. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, and he's got the movement, yeah. I think I found my new Halloween costume. I'm going to be the Master Tomberry. What is that? Oh, was... oh. <laughs> I, I got confused with, like, Jill's ability. I was like, what? You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, the chat is asking um, if there's also any new... Uh, accessories or other, or is it just weapons? Um, there should be new accessories as well. Ooh, all right, lots of stuff to look forward to. Oops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I just love this design very much. His movement's fitting, right? It's really slow, very uh, Umberry-esque, but then this right here where he's like coming up. Yeah. It, it still gives him a real creepy, menacing. Yes. I feel like the Tonberry trust issues are, are expanding now. <laughs> uh, a few folks are asking about new outfits. I, I don't believe so. I yeah. Don't believe so, yeah. Sorry, guys. But you can still enjoy uh, the nice. other new outfits that came with the, the first launch of the DLC. Oh, that takes a nice chunk out of the 
gauge there. He's angry. <laughs> this Tomberry is insanely fast. Oh my goodness. It's got a good range too with that big yeah. that a knife. <laughs> yeah. You can't even call it a knife at that point. That thing is the uh, like a Butcher cleaver or something. I, I feel nice like. Dodge, yeah. yeah. And again, Kieran's Joy is not using any time leap accessories, so that is his yeah. true precision dodging. But time leap accessories are available, so please uh, feel free to mix them up and play with them however uh, your play style best suits you. Yeah, your aim is yeah, your aim's good. <laughs> it moves really slow. Well. Yeah, that, that helps a lot too. There's some enemies on the field that like emit poison, but you don't want to get too close to them. Mm -hmm. So even more so, like Leviathan's powers are great. Does the Master Tonberry emit poison, or there's some other enemies that we can encounter? Ah, uh, it's the yeah, those other ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that ability is really good for breaking. I nice. love the dodge. For yeah, I've been so much. It looks so cool. I just really like that. Like it's Leviathan's face on his arm. Like that's yeah. so fun. Uh, Pat is curious if the gun can, or uh, the Leviathan arm can parry. Um, like your normal blade can. I know you can still parry, but I don't know if it's from the Leviathan mm. abilities. Nice. Good job, Joy. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't test it. If this <laughs> knife works, I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been worse, I suppose. No worries. Well, the the chat will have to get back to us about uh, the lethal damage there oh, yeah, on, on the knife poke. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> did he miss the step? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a good fighter, but traversing not so much. Walking's definitely a little more a little more challenging. <laughs> We've got a couple questions on YouTube here. Um, folks asking about trophies. Are there any DLC trophies that you can? I don't have the answer to that one. Sorry, guys. No worries. And what about uh, new music? How Do you know how many new songs everyone's going to get to enjoy? Yeah, all well, we could say is many. Many? Right? Like we said, there's yes. a new orchestration of mm. scrolls being added. Um, so there's a lot more opportunities on that as well. Excellent. But there are a lot. And I'm a big music buff, so I really enjoy them all. Yeah, it's so fun being able to uh, go to the hideaway and change the orchestra and oh, kind yeah. of listen to some of your favorite songs. Mm -hmm. And it's this guy again. Oh, no, we got the curl again. Yeah. Hello, buddy. And he's not alone this time. I know, I'm not alone. Oh, I want to get rid of the little ones first. If I don't die. <laughs> I, I believe in you. You one shot the Master Conberry. So. I did. It's hard to get when you have distractions like other things. So yeah. I think he doesn't exist right now. It's the, that's the poison I was talking about. So the long range is really helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your timing for the title gauge is really good. Yeah. I feel like Joy's secretly a. Uh, Theater rhythm player. <laughs> I, I am. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Not so secret. Is he not? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Can't dodge that people in the air. Nice. Let's 
always really satisfying getting that break in and yeah. just doing lethal damage, especially if you have your iconic abilities ready to go. Right. I like how she's challenging herself and using just Leviathan in this. But. Yeah. Yeah, of course, you know, you, you can swap out your um, other icons that you have um, on deck as well. I think we've got Titan and uh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. But yeah. But we should note on this also that you are able to sort of assign, have different sets of icons now. So before you only had three and then you kind of swap them out. Now you can have up to five sets that you can sort of rotate out. That is also uh, a good point. Yeah, there, there's been some quality of life changes here too. Um, I'll talk about them while Joy is fighting this temporal, uh, temple curl here. So uh, you also have um, the ability to um, kind of freely customize the button layout on your controller, which is super cool. Um, there's some tone correction, there's some screen effects, um, and more added to the photo mode. You know, we folks were talking about being eager to take pictures in Mysidia because it's so beautiful. With the tone berries. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, challenge for the chat. I would love to see everyone take a selfie with the <laughs> tone berry. Oh my god! <laughs> Extra points if it's Master Tomberry. Mm. Some folks in the chat are asking when we get the, the limit break gauge up if we can see what that looks like. I did it a few times. Yeah, I think we've seen we, it a few times. Yeah, as soon as I get it. Yeah, she'll do, she'll do it again for you guys, no worries. It doesn't seem like the chat likes this challenge, this Tonberry selfie challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wanted me to test the nut? That, yeah, that was fair, right? Nice. Uh, light, uh, light tap, we are only applying a little bit just to give you all a teaser of what uh, you can expect in the DLC. So if you're worried about spoilers, no worries. We got you. We are also worried about spoilers, but I'm eager to play this tonight. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. definitely. I still don't know what's going on, and I'm playing it. Yeah. So that's a good thing. And again, the Rising Tide will be available on midnight of April 18th in your local country's time zone. Doom, yes. I, this uh, zone is just so pretty. This yeah. Really pretty. I always like whenever there's like an ancient ruin that's overtaken by nature. Yeah. It's very pretty. And it... It's so pretty. Oh. I was like, this seems Yeah, like this a, very a looks like a place. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you can always tell a little bit, right? Like yeah. something's about to come. Something's about to come after us. Almost. And as Shula said earlier, there could always be something worse. There could always be something worse. <laughs> the first thing we do is run. <laughs> <laughs> run. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> so here we have Great Mar, this fearsome lizard boss, versus Curious Joy. 1v1. My money's on Curious Joy. Same. Absolutely. Oh, you hit me so I can <laughs> dodge is out. Zach Phoenix 13, you can get both of the DLC. Um, the expansion pass is $24.99 US dollar. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh, I got my limit break. Yeah, your limit break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled on me. <laughs> I know some folks um, over on YouTube uh, resting in. Uh, yes, the DLC, uh, both of them, they take place before Origin. So this is towards the end of the game. You'll receive uh, a missive, a very mysterious missive, over at the hideaway. And that will be uh, what will start the series of events that you can find. But you can uh, uh, tune 2D, you can buy the Rising Tide separately. If you bought um, Epic of the Fallen separately, the Rising Tide will be uh, $19.99 US dollars. The 
This guy's a lot bigger, so it's hard to miss. Yeah, I yeah. can miss. That's definitely convenient. Now, Joy, I know you've been dodging really well. Have you, uh, someone in the chat was asking about the precision dodge. Does that still trigger with the arm out? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I'll try and do it. There it is. Oh, wow, it. Oh, okay, no big deal. She's like, yeah, I got yeah. it. <laughs> for, for trying. <laughs> Get ready for what, Jill? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You jinxed that. Yeah. Oh, come on. Wasn't very helpful there. I was doing five before she <laughs> The pressure, it was too much pressure all of a sudden. I said. I think she saw that mechanic like seven steps before the rest of us did. <laughs> And stuff. Oh my gosh. my gosh. Hey, but you're halfway there. That's good. I know, you are. There's definitely a challenge to the enemies on this map. And that's, I, and that was something I noticed too with Echoes of the Fallen, right? Mm -hmm. Like some of the enemies were definitely, they had new challenges and mm -hmm. new mechanics to experience. So I think that's going to be really fun for everyone to kind of, um, playthrough and and one of the coolest things about Final Fantasy 16 is there, there really is kind of so much customization with your toolkit right like you can switch out which um, icons you want to use obviously today of course we want to feature Leviathan since uh, Leviathan is new uh, as part of the rising tide but you really can kind of make Clive's abilities go best with whatever your gameplay style is which is pretty fun I'm oh dead. I thought I tried to I tried to do this. You are cool. Yeah, <laughs> super cool. <laughs> Went right into it. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys what it did. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing I'm uh, Zach Phoenix. The final boss fight in Echoes was great. I agree. That actually was my favorite fight, I think, in Final Fantasy 15. It was so fun. The music, too. I was, just, I was having a dance party on my couch um, with myself. So I just noticed that pink stuff is toxic. Yeah, it's very bad. Ooh, yeah. So that's an additional challenge. You're not even supposed to touch it. And it's everywhere. Oh, I oh, thought no. it was going to do oh, a line. Gosh. Not bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me we don't want to pop those. <laughs> I need to refill, but I can't dodge and refill. Oh, that's what I want to do. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're fine, we're fine. Dr. Mango loves the sword that Clive is using. I do. Yeah. It's really cool looking. Good luck obtaining it. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. What does oh, it I mean? Oh, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm also, Leviathan is actually one of my favorite um, summons, primals, espers, um, icons. Uh, in the Final Fantasy like universe, so it's really fun, uh, you know. And of course, you got that to look forward to, right? There's you saw it in the trailer. You are going to eventually fight Leviathan. Yeah. It won't be in this live stream because we want you to experience that in its fullness. But um, yeah, it's going to be great for sure. Question from uh, Zero Blue: Are there going to be any new hunts or side quests? In specific to the DLC. There are new side quests. Um, in terms of hunts, I don't believe so. Yeah. Nice. All right, nice. Okay, one shot. <laughs> there was no practice for this one. Yeah. No. That was my first time. This was a surprise, and you did well. You did amazing. Nice. All right. Awesome. Good job, Joy. Oh, oh I that see is a trophy. a trophy. I know folks are asking about the trophies. Well, there we go. Good job. Yeah, that sword looks really cool. It does, yeah. yeah. It's so fitting for this. It is absolutely perfect. This place. We're all watching with bated breath. <laughs> it's frozen. Just like the surge. The birds! <laughs> yeah, all this is explained mm, when you discover it, but... Another of my ancestor's sins. Shall we? It looks very cool, yeah. I have to admit. All right. All right. We're going to uh, pause this portion of the gameplay here because there's 